Hello and welcome to this new chapter on Algebra. It is actually Algebra Part 1 and let us have a look at the various topic that we are going to study in Algebra. So first of all we start with a quick introduction of Algebra in which we will study the brief history of Algebra and also we will quickly have a look at how was, what was the status of Algebra in ancient India and how did the mathematicians contribute to it that is going to be very very brief. Now a lot of this chapter is going to focus around the concept of a variable a very very important concept that of a variable. So what we will be doing is first we will use matchstick patterns to understand and come to the concept of a variable. We will use those patterns and learn how to come up with general rules. Then we go and look into some more examples on variables and then we see that we all have already used variables and we will see where is variable used in geometry. We will just take two simple examples which you have already studied in your earlier chapters and which is discussed in our earlier videos on mensuration. Then we will also see how we use the variables for rules of arithmetic. And how does the use of variables make things simple to understand and specify the rules of arithmetic. Having said that, we then come to another concept which is forming the expressions with variables. So when we form an expression uh, using the four operations of addition, multiplication, division and subtraction. So how do we form expressions with variables using these four operations? And then, is it possible for us to use expressions practically? That is what we explore and we see what are the scenarios where we can use this expression. In fact, we will do quite a few examples centered around the use of expressions and the interpretation of expressions. Then we discuss another important concept being that of an algebraic equation. What do we mean by an algebraic equation? We will just understand what is the meaning of it. And then, what do we mean by the solution of an algebraic equation? Now, this chapter can be termed as a sort of an introduction to algebra. That is because the topics that we deal here will be mainly centered around the fundamental concepts that we, we will be using in our later classes and in the later videos. So, see you soon in the next session on a brief introduction to algebra.